Hello everyone, welcome back again to another tutorial. For this tutorial, we'll be learning how to make this firm structured bone detail that you can use to add details to your dress and make it look exquisite. So if you're ready, let's get started. So for this tutorial, the materials you need, you need your fabric of choice, your measuring tape, crinoline, um, scissors, pin and red lane boning. So to start, you have to first determine the length of this, your detail. So I'll be using this crinoline and when I measure the crinoline, uh, this crinoline is 3 inches long. So you can actually make yours bigger, you can make yours longer, but I have limited fabric, so I'll be working with this crinoline and this fabric. So I want to make three of these details. I want one to be 25 inch long, one 20 inches long, and the other 15 inches long. So I'm going to measure my crinoline. I'll be cutting my crinoline in those lengths of 25, 20 and 15 inches in length. So as you can see, I've folded my fabric. So I'm just going to pin my crinoline to the fabric folded. So this is actually the longest one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out, but I'm going to add extra half inch above the crinoline so when i'm cutting it i'm going to add extra half inch for the turning so i've cut the first one so i'm going to cut the second one of 20 inches so here i realize that my fabric wouldn't be enough and i actually wanted to have three of those details to form what i had in mind so i decided that i was going to divide the first one of um, 25 inches into two so making 20 inches my longest then i divided that one into 15 inches and 10 inches so that's what i'm doing here right now so i'm measuring 15 inches and i just cut it so now i have three of it i have 20 inches 15 inches and five inches like this so after that the next step is to take it to my machine and sew that half inch because we are going to be turning this so I've already sewn it and I had to use a paper to sew it because my fabric is stretchy and the threads were skipping. So now I'm just going to turn this to the right side. So take your time while turning it to the right side, okay? And make sure that your crinoline is well seated. So I'm going to turn all of them. So after turning them, this is how it looks. So the next step will be to iron it, okay? Ironing helps set the crinoline. And so please, when you're ironing, make sure you set the crinoline very well before ironing it so that you don't distort the shape of the crinoline. So I'm going to give it a good iron and then I'm done. So the next step now will be to add our regime bone to give it the firm structure that we need because crinoline is not enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to my machine and sew half half inch spacing for the bones to pass through. Okay, so I'm going to make three on each piece. So I've done that now. Like I said, I used paper to do to sew on this fabric because it's very very stretchy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a tape to close the ends of the bone so that it doesn't puncture the fabric and it also makes it easier to go in. So while putting this bone, please ensure that you leave 
at least three quarter inch above and below the piece so that you have space you have so that the bone will not prevent will not affect your stitching the fabric okay so leave half inch above and below when putting your bone so that you create room for stitching this detail to the fabric so i'm going to do this in all three casings i made so just take your time and put it and as you're adding it you will see that the structure will be coming out it becomes very very firm and you can bed it to any direction of your choice so this is very easy and it's very beautiful you can decide to make yours bigger you can make yours longer this was what i was able to achieve using my limited fabric so you can actually achieve more so uh, can you see the way it is it is now firm so i'm going to tear off my paper because it's not needed so if you don't have I'm actually using this silo tape because I my paper tape is finished so I would advise to use a paper tape rather than this but if you don't have a paper tape well this can suffice so I'm just going to keep doing this removing the paper and filling up so I'm actually going to do this to all my details behind camera and I'm going to show you how it looks after I'm done so after putting the regulin bone in all through you can see what I have you can see the result it's so beautiful and it's so flexible you can use this for the arm for the body whichever way you want so let's put this on my dress so i already made this dress i made it for my one year anniversary i actually made this from a dress i wore for my pregnancy photo shoot so i'm just going to paint this the way i want because this is a tube dress i don't like the way the top is so bare so i'm just going to keep folding it and keep manipulating this until i get something that looks nice trust me you can put this in any way you want you can put it across the boss you can use it to form a love shape so many things you can use this for so many things i just what i'm just doing right now is actually the basic which is what you need to create your own design so after finishing it this is what i got so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope this was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up like share subscribe and see you later bye